Yoram Gross is Australia's answer to Walt Disney. His 14 animated films, including Dot and the Kangaroo, have been loved by children around the world. Now he's ready to turn a koala into our next international celebrity. A 26-part TV series based on the adventures of Blinky Bill has already been pre-sold in Australia, Germany and the UK. And the people at Yoram Gross Studios invited TV TV along to see Blinky Bill's transformation from picture book favourite to small screen star. First of all, I love children, and I love films. Those two elements together to make rather children films. This will be the best idea. Oh, we were only having fun. School is not meant to be fun. Yoram and Sandra Gross founded their film studios in 1968. Their first children's movie was Dot and the Kangaroo. Fourteen feature films later, and Blinky Bill was brought to life. At the film studio, 70 artists and technicians are employed. As well, Sun Guy manages a sound studio within the same complex and composes the music for each movie. Guy explains why it's become such a family affair. Well, I didn't really have a choice. Sort of growing up in a family that was film entirely, my mother's an executive producer for us here, even my sister's an artist. Uh, I just grew up in a film family and I played piano from the age of five. I uh, went to the conservatorium high school and as soon as I realised I could do it, I thought, hey, I should be doing this music for my dad's films, not everybody else. And so I began uh, early in the dot days when Yoram did some dot features. How do you go about composing the music? Do you work off the vision? Well, the first thing I get is what's called a cutting copy, and I work to the picture, and all that has is the dialogue, no sound effects and no music. And then it's up to me to interpret what's happening on the film. I work with the director, obviously, it happens to be my father, Yoram, uh, and more often than not, I get it right. So if we see a bad guy, we've got to hear... Especially if he's walking in the middle of the night. Um, and there's a lot of cliches that I have to adhere to. And who does the voices? Voices are all done by very two talented people, two very talented people, Robin Moore and Keith Scott. And uh, they cover everything. They're very, very, very good. Me? Y you want me to be the teacher? Well, I, um, uh, too difficult for me? <laughs> of course not. I'll be the best teacher that ever teached. Of course I will. That's what I said. Huh. Me? You want me to be teacher? Yes, I want you to be the teacher. Well, uh... Of course, if it is too difficult for you, I can quite understand. Too difficult? For me? <laughs> of course not. I'll be the best teacher that ever teached. Blinky Bill is an extremely popular character with children. A lot of his cute personality comes from his voice. Robin Moore, who does Blinky's voice, slips in and out of the character with ease. But how long does Robin have to sustain that voice? Only for about two hours for the original script, and then we're called back to do little bits and pieces. It might be a song, or it might be uh, the post syncing. And they're the fun sessions, because that's when Blinky does all of his sound effects, like, you know, <laughs> falling down a cliff or going on a hill's horse, and you know, <laughs> into the water, you know. <laughs> so that just takes a lot of concentration and watching the film and, and bringing out the comedy as you watch the lovely comedic things the animators have done. We've worked to the voice tracks. Um, we know what the character should be, if he's a little hero or if he's a, a shy character. And then within the context of those disciplines, we work to develop the character, style, the look of the character, um, his mannerisms and his actions. Blinky Bill's proven to be such a popular character that he's gone from the big screen to the small screen. The ABC has bought the 26-part television series, which will screen early next year. Does Yoram Gross think Blinky Bill's lost anything in the translation? No, this is the same Blinky Bill, the same character. Uh, Smiling, very clever, very clever. Extraordinary. Over the last few weeks, Katrina Lee has been looking at the intense rivalry between 7 and 9, 6.30 current affairs programs, real life and a current affair. At 9, she found a show with some internal conflict. 
sex cells, as we know, and if you've got a story coming up that involves an element of sex, or even more importantly these days, you know, just a, an element of, the, of sexual relations, of human relations, of, uh, of the whole thing between men and women, um, certainly you're going to promote that. I'd like to see a little less sex. Yeah, I'd like to see a little bit more um, depth.